Antonio, please. Thank you, Chair, uh, for the introduction. Uh, the work uh, that I will show you is about uh, sensor assured bathing socks uh, for telemonitoring application in long term care. Uh, I'm Antonio Pallotti uh, from the University of Rome Sabertelli and uh, both from the University of Rome Tor Vergata as a management researcher. Uh, we could start uh, by the definition of the telemedicine uh, as reported by the World Health Organization uh, with a recent definition. Uh, we could think about the telemedicine or as a synonymous telehealth the delivery of the healthcare service where the patients and providers are separated by the distance. So we can observe that the distance is very important to define a healthcare service based on telecommunication technology. Another definition uh, defined by the group consultation in the 1997 uh, is about the health telematics that is composed by the health data activities, services, and systems, and uh, also compare the distance uh, through the ECT technology. On the right, we can observe an improvement of the uh, research in the mobile health uh, um, field that is a subfield of the health of telemedicine. The uh, field of uh, telemedicine is very important not only for the engineering or for the medicine, but also for the management area. So it is very crucial the social inclusion of the elderly population, for example, and uh, the rehabilitation, for example, based on uh, motor activity. And uh, this is a past uh, presentation. But uh, in this work, uh, we start by the uh, two systems, the upper, the infrared shirt, and the lower, bath and socks. For the uh, sensory shirt, uh, we selected uh, a commercial component to uh, collect the raw data by the health. For example, in this case, we will obtain uh, the electrocardiography, the first derivative, uh, we selected uh, a sparse component. We used uh, dye electrodes uh, without gel that uh, could be uh, uh, used only one time. Uh, in addition, we uh, integrate with a food oximeter to evaluate uh, the oxygen concentration in the blood. Another important uh, uh, component uh, is the triaxial. Mm -hmm. I lost the connection. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, another important yes, component uh, is the triaxial accelerometer, but used uh, for the uh, respiratory monitoring uh, for the elderly population. Another component is the central body sensor. So uh, we can find all these components. Uh, online shop and you can collect but uh, the scope is the development of, of a system in this case the system is based on a tissue uh, fully uh, polyester that is comfortable for the user the electronic board is uh, based on uh, arduino mega and we use a bluetooth antenna uh, for the connection with the mobile application in the smartphone or with the Bluetooth antenna of the computer. Uh, this is a representation of the electronic circuit uh, and we selected the uh, electrocardiography at uh, 250 Hz as in the literature. Uh, the temperature sensor at 1 Hz, the uh, oxygen sensor at 1 Hz and the uh, acceleration uh, at 5 Hz uh, in respect to the uh, image. The allocation on the right of the image are for the uh, dry electrodes on the uh, clavicle near the, near the chest. 
for the temporal sensor on the axilla or the uh, oxygen sensor upon the index finger. So is the precision of the sensor at shape. Or the uh, respiratory sensor on the stomach because we observe that for the elderly population uh, the variation of the birth is maximized in this location and uh, the reference electrode on the other side. The uh, electronic board is external of the sensor shape, but uh, could be part uh, on it. These are some examples of the signal. Uh, it's important the philosophy of our first system. So we take the data by the sensor, we uh, redirect uh, through the electronic board and through the digital antenna to the mobile application that is developed uh, in Android and uh, the uh, mobile application can collect uh, the raw data locally inside uh, the storage of the smartphone and uh, can redirect the data to the web pla platform. In this case uh, we used a uh, Google Firebase that is uh, free. Uh, another application is the use of a uh, Raspberry uh, so without the uh, mobile application, the data are sent to the electronic board and through a uh, Wi-Fi connection, the data uh, thanks to uh, links on the website uh, are redirected on the platform. Uh, in the example, we represent the four signal, the ECG signal, the uh, temperature body sensor and the oxygen concentration in the blood and the respiratory activity. Uh, these data are uh, compared to the laboratory instrumentation in another work that is in the reference. Next step, the sensory shots and depth. Uh, in this case, we would evaluate the uh, gait and the orthostatic equilibrium of a patient. So, we think at home application to the elderly population. Uh, we selected a force sensor for the uh, uh, plantar pressure of the patient and also an elongation sensor, in this case, a pressure sensor, sensor um, just to evaluate the volume variation uh, near the ankle. Uh, this is symptomatic uh, for the uh, lebopathic application or in the diabetes. Uh, we use also an Arduino board integrated with a Bluetooth antenna. Uh, the sensor at belt uh, is a 9 axis uh, sensor, so we have an accelerometer, mm -hmm. a metometer, and uh, a gyroscope. The gyroscope is useful uh, for the segmentation of the pneumatic tags, for, for example, for the inversion of the modus, and so on. The same philosophy, uh, sensors, uh, electronic board, <coughs> mobile application, uh, for smartphone uh, based on the Metapindian or Raspberry, Firebase. The, uh, the doctor can access uh, mm -hmm. to the platform thanks to the uh, rights and can uh, observe or the raw data or the qualitative data. Uh, for example, the uh, electrodiography signal, the kinematic signal, the uh, temperature signal, and so on. But uh, we used uh, all this data for uh, machine learning application. And uh, a qualitative representation derived by the sensor results and belt uh, is uh, represented. And uh, uh, we can observe as a qualitative approach uh, the differences between uh, or uh, severe form respect to the diabetes. And uh, we can extract uh, based on the time up and go test, uh, step count, average, step length, uh, and so on. And these data are important uh, for the telemonitoring application based on the machine learning techniques.
and this is uh, a representation of the pulley system. Uh, so we have uh, the integration of the uh, tensorite uh, shirt, tensorite belt, tensorite socket. All the components uh, are connected to the mobile application through the Bluetooth, uh, and the data are uh, directed to the web platform. Uh, we can observe uh, the qualitative signal, uh, or uh, we can uh, obtain the raw data by the application. On the left, uh, you can see an example where is inserted the identification of the subject, in this case, subject 5. And uh, after that, uh, the smartphone is connected to the uh, component, in this case, uh, uh, the little antenna. And after that, uh, the, uh, the, the transmission can start, and the data are redirected to the web platform that is updated in real time. Uh, in this case, uh, I show you uh, preliminary results for the uh, integrate, integrated systems between the sensor shirts, belt, and socks. And uh, we can uh, evaluate uh, different diseases. Uh, for our study, uh, we started from the uh, cardiological field uh, for the arrhythmia, and uh, for uh, the study of the diabetes in the, in the vascular field. But if we think to an elderly population, we have uh, many diseases, so we can a telemonitoring genome uh, with based on the raw data on qualitative data that the doctor can read, can access, and uh, we can give uh, support to the medical decision based on the uh, machine learning techniques. So we, we talk about the supervised model. Uh, this is uh, uh, a recent work based on the first prototype uh, for the recognition, automatic recognition of the arrhythmia. And we can observe that uh, using these systems, we obtain a high accuracy of 95% or 98% or 98% respectively character. And uh, uh, this uh, is uh, uh, hopeful for the medical application. Uh, Thinking about uh, the application of the uh, sensoroid belt and socks, uh, passing through the uh, time of go test or the orthostat test, uh, we uh, obtain a high accuracy of the, to automatically recognize the diabetes uh, uh, with a value of 91.7%. This is the team that uh, uh, developed the uh, full work uh, on the left side, uh, the University of Rome Pari Carico, on the right side, uh, the University of La Sapienza, and in the center, me at uh, uh, Sartori University for the uh, uh, medical uh, engineering and Dr. Gaga for the engineering. And I'm grateful for your attention, and if you have any questions, I wait for you. Thank you, Antonio.